In a country already torn apart by gang violence and political instability, Haiti faces yet another catastrophic event. Imagine a prison break so chaotic and deadly that it leaves a dozen inmates dead, sparks a nationwide alarm, and raises serious questions about the future of a country on the brink. How did this happen in a facility supposedly secured by a multinational force? And what does it mean for a nation already engulfed in crisis? Stay with us as we unravel the shocking details of the St. Mark prison break, where violence, desperation, and chaos collided in the most devastating way. The peaceful coastal city of St. Mark was thrust into the international spotlight as chaos erupted within its prison walls. What started as a desperate protest by inmates over deplorable conditions quickly spiraled out of control, leading to one of the deadliest prison breaks in Haiti's recent history. Inmates, frustrated by a lack of food and basic necessities, ignited a protest that escalated into an all-out rebellion. Smoke filled the air as fires raged within the compound and the sound of gunfire echoed through the streets. As security forces scrambled to regain control, Inmates were seen scaling the barbed wire walls, desperately trying to escape the hellish conditions. The results were nothing short of catastrophic. In the ensuing chaos, 12 inmates lost their lives. 11 were killed in violent shootouts with police, while another died under mysterious circumstances. The escapees, desperate and armed, posed an immediate threat to the surrounding communities prompting authorities to issue urgent warnings for residents to stay vigilant. But this was more than just a failed prison break. It was a stark reminder of the deep-rooted issues plaguing Haiti. The St. Mark prison, like many others across the country, is severely overcrowded and under-resourced. Basic human rights, like access to food and healthcare, are often ignored leading to a powder keg of unrest that can explode at any moment. Haiti's prison system is just one piece of a much larger puzzle of instability. The country has been grappling with a surge in gang violence, which has only been exacerbated by the recent prison break. Gangs have become increasingly bold, staging mass breakouts and engaging in violent confrontations with law enforcement. This latest incident is the third prison break in Haiti this year alone, with each one further eroding the fragile state of law and order. The situation has grown so dire that even the international community has been forced to intervene. A Kenyan-led multinational security support mission was deployed to stabilize the region, but the challenges are immense, and the results, so far, have been limited. The international response, led by Kenya, aimed to bolster Haiti's national police force and restore some semblance of order. However, the mission has been fraught with difficulties. Of the 1,000 police officers pledged by Kenya, only 400 have arrived, leaving the Haitian forces stretched thin and under-equipped to handle the escalating violence. Commander Godfrey Obtunge, the head of the Kenyan contingent, has been vocal about the dire need for more resources. In a recent statement, he called on the international community to fulfill their promises and send the necessary support. He emphasized that without additional weapons and resources, the Haitian police are fighting a losing battle against heavily armed gangs that now operate with near impunity. The St. Mark prison break is just one symptom of a much deeper humanitarian crisis in Haiti. The country's prisons are overcrowded to the point of collapse, with pretrial detentions dragging on for years. According to the United Nations, of the nearly 12,000 inmates in Haiti, only 1,892 have been convicted of a crime. The rest languish in inhumane conditions with little hope for justice. This crisis is not confined to the prison walls. Across Haiti, nearly 600,000 people have been displaced due to gang violence, forced to flee their homes in search of safety. The UN estimates that close to 5 million Haitians, almost half of the country's population, are now facing severe hunger as the situation continues to deteriorate. The implications of this prison break extend far beyond St. Mark. It highlights the urgent need for reform within Haiti's criminal justice system, as well as the dire humanitarian situation facing the entire nation. The ongoing conflict and unrest have already led to the resignation of former Prime Minister Ariel Henry, and the country remains in a state of emergency. 
As gangs grow more powerful and the government struggles to maintain control, the future of Haiti hangs in the balance. The St. Mark incident is a grim reminder that without significant international intervention and support, the situation in Haiti will continue to spiral out of control. As we close this chapter on the St. Mark prison break, one thing is clear. Haiti is at a critical crossroads. The country is grappling with a convergence of crisis, political instability, gang violence, and humanitarian disasters that threaten to unravel what little order remains. The international community must act swiftly and decisively to support Haiti in its hour of need. Without immediate action, the chaos in St. Mark could become a grim preview of what lies ahead for the rest of the country. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this developing story, bringing you the latest updates and insights into the crisis in Haiti. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure you don't miss our next report.